C. Lindelof videos, AP calculus, particle motion. We have a position function, S of t is equal to 2 times the square root of t times the quantity 2 minus 2t two plus t squared. For t is greater than or equal to 0, and we're asked, when is the particle moving left? So we know the particle is moving left for v of t, whoops, for v of t is less than 0 is the ticket that we're looking for here. So we have position. So what I'm going to do is say that the first derivative of position is equal to velocity. And then I'm going to set this up. There's, you can distribute this through and do this as sum and difference rule, or you can use this as uh, chain rule. And I'm going to go, I'm, I'm sorry, product rule. And I'm going to go ahead and use product rule here. So I'm going to do two square roots of t times the derivative of this, which is negative 2 plus 2t, two isn't it? Right, plus, and then I'm going to take the derivative of the, of the outside piece. So the derivative, of the first piece is this plus my. I have two minus two t plus t squared times the derivative of this, and the derivative of this is t to the negative, sorry, negative one half, isn't it? So from here, I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. And as I do, I'm going to end up getting this. I'm going to go ahead and clean all this crap up using algebra. And then I'm finally going to get my derivative function of velocity is equal to 1 over square root t times 5t squared minus 6t plus 2, I think is what I got, isn't it? Yeah. Remember, I want this to equal 0. This equals zero. So I, what I'm going to do is look at this and see does this ever equal zero? So there's no solution here. That never equals zero. No solution here. And then I'm going to look at this. And the quickest way to look at this is to look at the graph of it. You can try to factor it. And I see people saying, okay, this is how this thing factors out. But if you just look at a picture of this graph, the graph of this right here looks like this kind of. Comes down like this. It gets near zero, but it, it never actually gets it. So no solution. So we can see that this is v of t. This is the velocity function, and its heights are always above zero. So this thing never moves left. Never moves left. All right? So hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do.